Yeah, uh, what's your name? Sonia. Look, you're still in London. Is that perfectly clear? Yes, Sonia. Uh, and I may never come back here again. Look, while we were talking, Flight 57 has departed without you. I'm going to have to try and get you onto another flight. Hmm. Uh, he either missed the plane in Manchester or he got lost when he changed in London. What kind of idiot misses a plane? You are speaking of my only living relative. I'll accept that as an answer. Thank you. Uh, I mean, thank you. I'm sorry, it's not here right now. Oh. Well, is Mrs. Dryer here? Who is asking? No, well, I'm Frank Dryer, their nephew. <laughs> Frida! Am I going to want you? Frida! No, no, I'm Frank. Help me for you with a suitcase. And Martha? Yes, I'm here. Where? I'm right in front of you. Well, Keep coming. Could you come closer, please? No, 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 Frank. You can do it by yourself. There is no handicap so great as fear. <laughs> Thank you. I broke them coming through the gate. Hmm? I can't see very well without them, you know. I suppose I, suppose I have to get a new pair. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, it's, it really is a very, very nice garden. Very interesting. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's Tom. He won a, a ribbon at the show last year. Did you, Tom? <laughs> Want you to throw the ball. Hi, Tommy. Um, <coughs> yeah, um, what, what a nice dog. Would you like to have some tea, madam? Yes, Frida. Frank? Uh, oh, good coke. Uh, no, uh, well, uh, uh, Canada Dry or uh, well, the Tizer. Uh, I, do, I, 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 I think tea would be quite nice. Do you have any tea, Frida? Uh, John? Yes? Your nephew is here. Oh, Frank. Frank, where are you? Frank Dryer? Stand up. Let me look at you. <coughs> well, well, well. Finally. <laughs> well, I'm just... Thank uh... you. Oh, Martha. <laughs> Give the poor boy a chance. We're getting a new suit, a couple of shirts, a bath. Maybe we'll find an apartment for him downtown somewhere. And he might feel differently about him. And if we don't? We don't. We don't, well, we go back. It's all. It's all. How does that sound to you? It sounds better than you look. Is he, my love? <laughs> you rape of perspiration. Thanks, sir. I'm not in mood tonight. Yes, I like them. They're terrible. Yes, yes, I think so too. Uh, well, how about, how about these? Too big. Too, too big? Uh, well, um, oh, no, 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 these are nice. I... Too good. Too good. Oh, perhaps your mother has something specific in mind. I beg your pardon. Oh, if your son cannot find anything in our selection... It is then... not the selection, miss, but your judgment that is in question. An optician who cannot see is as much use as a piano tuner who cannot hear. I have 20, 20 vision, madam. Come, Frank. You'll find our glasses elsewhere. Oh, here it is, Frank. 16 floors of it. It's all mine. Product of a daring dream. 
Are you being paid? I'm, so, I'm sure you don't want to hear about that. No, no, you're right. No, you're right. You're, 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 keep them till they're ready. Nurture them, toil them, love them. Because only when they're ready can you make them come true. Yes, sir. Frank, you can tell me. Have you any idea why I am so successful? I, my father said it's because you're lucky. He did, he? Yes, so it's true, I did happen to, to come here at the end of the war at the right moment, but uh, that was good time. Now, there's a little thing called the intuition, Frank. An indefinable instinct that makes a difference between success and failure. And tonight, Frank, we are going to test yours. We're going to see if you have what it takes to be a drier man. And make no mistake, it's not what you sell, it's how you sell it. Now, uh, you're the customer, mm. and I'm the salesman, and you're here to buy a tie, right? Now, sir, uh, what color do you have in mind? Uh, well, I think I'll take it the black one. The black one? Oh, splendid, sir. Absolutely. Very suitable, sir. Yes. Now, that is a very special technique, Frank. And make sure that you have not missed the point. You are now change places. You will be the salesman. I'm the customer. You come right in. Now, these are the cheese over here. These are the medium price. Back here, these are the more exotic ones. As we say, a little on the, uh, on the orchid side. And they run from, from 25, 30, 45 to, heaven help us, to 50. Now, I am uh, a young man. Uh, and if you'll forget the word, a ninny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inexperienced, ineffectual, and, uh, and easily tempted. I'd like a nice plain blue tie, please, sir. Uh, not too expensive. Smile! Uh, uh, oh, Frank! I knew you missed the point. Either that or you're colorblind. If it's colorblind, then it's good by Uncle and Aunt. Oh, why did you get the cheapest tie in the house? Why didn't you do what I did? Stun the ninny with, with an expensive one. Doesn't matter what the color is, so long as it's, it's gaudy and extremely costly. Now, get on the other side. Take this one. And then, and, uh, tie the knot in your hand. Frank, you are not making a tourniquet on a fatal rule. Now, what you have got to do is to remember that if you lose your rhythm, you lose the customer's attention. Now, you've got to hypnotize him with it. Stagger him with it. Make it bloom before his eyes. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle. I wish your father was here to see this. I thought you'd take a taxi now. It's here. It's here. <laughs> oh, a nice gate. Well, open it. Just look. Oh. What about service and cleaning? I do that myself. Not lately, you haven't. I have to do everything alone. You see, my wife has not been very well lately, and it's very difficult. How much is it you're asking? 155. That's too expensive. Today everything is very expensive. Well, we are sorry to have bothered you. Come, Frank. Frank, are you coming? What? Has the young gentleman got a job? Yes, a drive. But he won't pay a penny more than 150. If the lights are out by 11 o'clock? 10 45. 5 to 11. Sold! If you change that picture. I must ask the wife. You're a very good bargain, Aunt Martha. <laughs> I've learned the value of money. Well, you, you, should, you should work for Uncle Charles. <laughs> I think you'd better try it. <laughs> Lie down on it. Like you were going to sleep. You sleep with your shoes on? No. Well? Oh. You know, Master? Yes, Frank? You know, I can't understand how that optician girl thought you were my mother. of the human soul. Have an egg, have an egg. Okay. Can man and woman work together, my friend? That is the question. Is it possible? Can two human beings cooperate to triumph over their fellows? Go! Oh, 
hot to celebrate. <laughs> No, I suppose not for a dryer, man. Mm. Would you mind? Oh, uh, what, what? Cleaning my shoe. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, no, yes, sir. When he's not there, and I'll grab her and I'll throw her on the floor and, and get go. Oh, I've got to find a reason to go there. I've got to find a reason to get through the door and find a reason to go there. Who is it? It's your neighbour. What do you want? Yes. Noises like mice. No. Here. Did you hear them? No. Here, near the wall, right here. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Hey, what do you think? Hey, what do you think? Hey, what do
What about you? What about me? Are, are you going to sit down? Oh, yes. <laughs> but first, a little music. <laughs> you dance? No. Attractive young man like you. Really? How's your dream? Oh, it's strong. I like them so. Yeah, that's right. I like them so. That's very unusual for a virgin. <coughs> This is your first time for whiskey, isn't it, huh? Huh? No. No? <laughs> but it's interesting that the word virgin should uh, disturb you so. I'm not disturbed. Oh, good. Good. You know, I'd like very much to work at Dyson's store because it's very nice, really, it's nice. Oh. Yes, and the profit is up 10%, and tomorrow maybe they'd put me in the... What brought you here tonight, Frank? Um, skin. No, I came to talk to Uncle. What about? Skin. Uh, skin. Yes, I, I brought I brought some with me. Such a nice boy. Would you, like, would you like to see it? Your skin? Yeah. Would you like to show it to me? I brought some in, in the bag. What? You brought your skin? In a bag? Mother! Oh, yes, darling! Oh, there you are. Hello, Frank. Frank, thanks. Hello. Sorry, I'm late. Prices go up, sales go down, and I just thought you were eating when it's boring, isn't it? Oh, not at all. Um, Frank was just uh, telling me about his king. Oh, any food, any supper? Finish his leave, and I think so. Okay, Thank you very much for the moment. Keep on coming. I should think that people like you, you'd be happy about uh, sampling local pastries, huh? You weren't charged and you couldn't do it. You couldn't even move. <laughs> well, you're not going back there. You're never going back there again. Uncle! 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 This is... Waskin. Waskin. Ah, Mr. Waskin. No, 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 this is Waskin. Yes, a trade name that people in order to teach notice by tomorrow. But what is this Voskin today, you may ask? Yes, I was about to. Yes, it's a main component. It's a resilient, colorless product resembling flesh. Flesh? Flesh? Flesh that is practically human. I see. I particularly stress its uh, elasticity, its viability, its repliability, yes, so well, to speak. Mr. Um, Ritter. No, I'm afraid, Mr. Ritter, that the clientele of Dryer's Emporium are not the slightest of interest in even a perfect facsimile of human flesh. Oh, no, that's exactly what I told him. I mean... But, but, but I, I didn't intend to sell Voskin, no! But, but I put it in your display window. 
those on, 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 on mannequins, on, on moving mannequins, by, 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 by employing an electric impellent, along with a, 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 a contractor. Yes, well, this is all complete gibberish to me. The, the, the technical gibberish I don't understand. Do you have a model? Yes, appearing in my, uh, uh, my, uh, but uh, I uh, need the funds to construct it. How much? Two thousand three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Plus, uh, oh, well, Uncle, I didn't uh, realize... 22 it. marks and 45 pence. Oh, no, that's much too much. Mr. Mr. Mitter, don't you think your imagination is worth much more? M more, more? You see, if, if someone said to me, my dear Mr. Dryer, I would like to dream a little. How much will you pay me to dream? I might negotiate with him. But you, my dear inventor, you arrive with, with something practical, factory produced and so forth. Who cares about realization? I am duty-bound to believe in the dream, but the embodiment, the fulfillment of that dream, poof. <laughs> But I was told that you were interested in such innovations. Just think what, what, what the delight it will be, what an adornment, what an astounding, and even if I might say so, artistic achievement. What guarantee can you give me? The guarantee of the human spirit. Ah, now that really is a salesman. You treat my imagination, Mr. Uh... Ritter. Professor, Professor Ritter. Professor Ritter, yes. Frank, you arrange an appointment in the, uh, the office. Oh, yes, well, you uh, of course, um, arrange the taxi to our way back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Hi, Charlie. Waiting for you to get up, darling. You're awfully sweet, both of you. Coming down? Uh, Joseph. <laughs> Get these two ladies down for me, will you please? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't. Come on, Joseph. You used to be a monkey. <laughs> Thank God they've gone. I think I made some idiotic deal because of you. <laughs> Guarantee the human spirit. Hello. Oh, have you got something for us? What are you so happy about? Oh, it's our young Frank. You know, I think we may have an heir to the throne after all. If he displayed a really amazing bit of instinct, I might put him under my wing. Ah! No. I burn myself. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, if this thing works out, we might even adopt him. General Motors. Dear sirs, I am writing you from Munich, Germany, where, where I've gathered valuable experience in sales and management of a large European firm. The firm belongs to my uncle and uh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving because... He's at home! Go right in! Because I'm in love with my aunt. Oh. Excuse me for bursting in like this, mm. but uh, I was afraid you might be ill. Mm -hmm. It isn't at all like you to avoid us for three evenings in a row. Hmm. I came to find out exactly why. What's the matter? I thought you'd be glad to see me and I didn't say a word. I'm, I'm leaving Munich. Are you? Yes, yes. Your Uncle Charles will be very disappointed. Will, uh, will you be disappointed? Will you? I don't like your dressing gown. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were coming on tonight. Take it off. Oh. pajamas either.
Well, you said you said you didn't like that, but the child is... Yes, but well, what's wrong? There's certainly something you have overlooked. What? I, I, I love you. I love you. Now you fool. Lock the door. where you are. I can't return home with crumbled clothing. Times with, with models and movies uh, and playmates and Judith Smith and, and you and Judith Smith. Yes, yes, she used to run the hurdles in in our school. And when she, when when she jumped over the hurdles, you could see right up right up her shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the first. Oh. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Yes, Aunt Martha. Don't call me Aunt Martha. Uh, um, I'm sorry. You mean, you mean we're going, we're going to do it, do it again? We're yeah, going to do it until you get it right. Mm. for lunch, my love. Oh, you're eating alone anyway. Are you dieting? No, charity. We are going to start having lunch meetings at the church several times a week. I hope you don't mind. No, no, no. I have a friend to come and join me. Poor boy's all alone anyway. As a matter of fact, I've been thinking it over. I think we ought to invite him to come and eat with us any time he's not busy. Unless, of course, you have any objections, my love. To your hostess mail. What's his phone number? I don't think he has one. Where does he live? I really don't know. Hi, love. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you. 
your heart desires. <laughs> you see? Well, what do you suggest, Frank? Ah, uh, well, as, as, as it's a man's job, it should be a... Uh, ah, um, oh, woman, you're right, Frank. Good thinking, good thinking. Now, can she be beautiful? Can she be exotic? Every man's dream? Oh, certainly, sir. She can be uh, whatever dimensions you want. <laughs> Frank, my boy, if this comes true, there may be a new executive in the Dryer Emporium. Now, in a few weeks' time, we'll have a, have a demonstration for the two most important buyers in the world. Cougar of Switzerland and Hashimoto of Japan. But don't you bother your creative mind about this, about business. I'll talk it over this genius, the sordid details. Run along, enjoy yourself. Now, uh, uh, Rita, pass you, uh, uh, well, tell my uncle anything that he says. Oh, Frank, uh, yes, tell your aunt Martha I won't be back to dinner. Maybe you'd like to <laughs> take her out, hmm? I cannot thank you. You are a genius. <laughs> a genius. <laughs> it's after the sensation. Watch this. The hand movement. <laughs> and then with the radio controls, you... Who is he? Oh. My assistant. It's a perfect chance. Nobody will see us here. But it's not my choice. Okay. It's, I can't put it all anywhere else, that's all. Oh. What's wrong? What's the matter? Get up, hey, let's go. Hmm. Did someone see us, or? In here, I can't breathe. Come, we'll eat at home. 
Forgive me, my darling. Poverty has a strange effect on me at times. It's nothing you'll have to worry about. Suddenly I saw a sport to eat in places like this. I in bound stockings. My hands roll from washing and cooking. Oh, I was living in a dingy back room somewhere. But I'm happy. For the first time in my life, I'm happy, you know. Now, now I've got you. Now and for all time, my darling. But I'm, I'm not your husband, I'm just your lover. Yes, I must be realistic about it. It's all quite simple. I simply have a lover. For the time being. And if by any chance... What? That's the strangest thing. I have no idea why I said that. Or even what I was going to say. And all you would have to do is back to this job. Right, what is it? See for yourself. Oh, but does, does he ever use it? One never knows, does one? What one will use until the moment comes. No, well, I, I don't blame you. I mean, I would kill for you too if you were mine. I'd kill for you. I think I'd better go home. You shall stay. It's always the driver who comes off worst. Ah, oh, poor Joseph. J Joseph? Joseph. Oh, Joseph. Joseph. The ambulance people were angels. They got him to the hospital alive. Died, uh, his skull was all... had a... There was an eyeball on his... and all the skull out of... Don't ask for details. Martha, you realize... tomorrow you... you could be wearing black. At all? No, not at all. You must have done when you first married him. I was an Italian war refugee looking for my family. He was a rich English captain. It was romantic as that. 
but I'm sorry that you have to go back home to Yes. Unless. What? Oh, no, you wouldn't understand. Yes, yes, I will. I, I swear I will. People generally make all kinds of plans, Rack. Very good plans. But completely fail to consider one possibility. Death. As if for no one had ever died. That's what you were going to say last night. You've got that same expression on your face. Will you play this year, Charles? I'm sorry, I don't understand. More midgets? Elephants? Oh, I see. No, this year, no, nothing. No, no I'm too old this year. <laughs> no joke. <joking. laughs> <laughs> 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 right? No. Come on, don't be shy. We've all heard about that before. Pudding, they come to see you in your room every afternoon. Pudding, I... I don't and it's quite a tiger, from what I hear. Oh. Yes, we'll just get plenty of pencils and you'll be all right, girls. Come on, get my nephew. Dying, dying, dying. Yes, yes. Tell his girl to piss and pass. I always said so. Yeah. Um, 
Hey. Oh. Be careful where you put those. You can do a man a lot of damage. <laughs> well, this is great. What are we going to do with it? Play boats or something? You're going to be a drink like this. Ooh. Um. Oh. <laughs> you do that. Nothing else. Think it over, Frank. Concentrate hard. You're a man now. And men must make the decisions. You have to decide who's going to live or who shall die. I'm going into the master bedroom now to undress. If you decide you are a man, you may come to see me. You mean if I decide to kill him? Under the bottom. Under the bottom. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Ah, take them all off. You don't need, you need socks in here. Everything off. Everybody off. Everybody, everybody nude. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> Hello. 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 Who's down here? Now we got him. 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 him. Now we got him. Now we him. Now we got him. Now we got him. Now we got him. Now we got him. him. Now we got him. 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 I've heard poison ivy can be fatal. Oh, yes, or maybe even better, cyanide. It would be so simple. We'd have tea together in the evening with those delicious little eclairs freedom eggs. And he'd eat one, and poison would penetrate every corner of his body. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm no scientist. I'm only a woman. <sighs> Darling, hurry up. If you know this corner, my foot, well, it's getting bigger. Do you think it's a veruca? <laughs> You can inspect it later. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, oh, don't take your glasses off. I, they're, they're dirty. Just let me clean them. Oh, come on. I love you to make love to me with your glasses on. Oh, no, please. Uh, no. So, hey, look, maybe he's got some secret illness and he'll die anyway. Don't be silly, darling. He's as strong as a horse. We must send him to the hospital full of, of, of rat poison. And then he'll never come back. No, the good... You know, you know, it was me in the long run. Bad man, don't talk. How can you talk about killing him and then do this in his bed? Very well, then. <laughs> As I recall, you used to like it on the floor. No, Mark. Come. Oh, oh. please. Oh. Oh, I want you. Oh. Oh. Come. Yeah. Come. What is it? It's a noise, I heard noise. No, I, I tell you, I heard something. In your imagination. There's no one there. No, no, I know I heard something, really. It's so okay. Come. come and just begin oh, to. Look, I'm out of place. I must go. Oh, oh.
Loading. Back from winter slots. Where are we going? Why didn't you call me first? Well, I thought it'd be more fun to come home unexpectedly and, and uh, catch your soul by surprise, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. No. Did you? Yes, I wanted to see if you'd meet me with a, a radiant smile of surprise. Or a strange man on the back. <laughs> yeah. Instead of that, I, I get the most wonderful and reassuring welcome that uh, any man could ever have from his devoted wife. Good. What have you done? I'm sorry, gentlemen. The stars are just fixing their makeup. Maybe we should eat demon and spite. My reputation's at stake. I have your word that this demonstration will be a success. <laughs> Our fortunes are tight together. I don't give my word lightly. Empire. Let the show commence. Yes, let the show commence. My close. Uh, let the uh, uh, commence. Uh, uh, Stop the show. Make <laughs> Come on, hipster. <laughs> Hey, Professor, <clears throat> Elsa's hips are stuck. Gross, you idiot! Come on, Elsa! Elsa! Be a nice girl, please. Come on, Elsa. <clears throat> Let's go. New luck! New luck! First, uh, and now it's uh, now it works. Uh, now it's working. <laughs> now it's <laughs> Now what will help it? No, it works. Go to shake hands. If you take it your whole life, you're going to undo this terrible wrong. What is it? The bosky manicures are going to work. If I had to put a spring inside your stomach and wind you up, bang! Yes, sir. Let this be a lesson to you. If you want to be an executive, anything worth doing is worth doing well. Uh, yes, sir. And, and may I say, sir, that the wasn't, room wasn't built in a day. Uh, and there were change horses in the middle of the street. Sticking tire! With me. I feel like turkey. I want turkey. Where is my turkey? Oh, really, Charles? One week later, it wasn't enough for me. Don't change the subject. Seriously, Charles. 
I'm beginning to worry about you. Look at you, all red in the face, heart pumping too fast. If you don't slow down, you'll drag yourself into an early grave. I'm sorry, I shouldn't take that on you. Why don't you get away for a while? Why don't both of us get away? I don't like failure, I can't accept turkey failure. Uh, maybe you two weeks in the sun. What do you think, Charles? Maybe the Côte d'Azur. What the hell are we doing the Côte d'Azur? Horse like riding. I hate horses. Tennis? I can play tennis, yeah. Swimming? Martha, neither of us swim a stroke. Maybe we should learn. Think about Frank, too. Poor boy. Has had nothing but work since he arrived. He can take you boating while you get brown as chocolate. <laughs> which way are you walking? Uh, this way. Which way are you walking? Oh, I don't mind. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just walking. Oh, well, uh, uh, well, I live here, so goodbye. Oh, oh well, look, look. How about uh, show me your apartment? I, well, it's uh, too, well, four. Your aunt and I have come to a decision about the three of us. We're all going away to the south of France. Go on in. The three of us are my treat, of course. It's, uh, don't, 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 don't. You must have a bit of a set. Open the door, son. Open the door, son. Got the right key? Yes. Let's give it a good push. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, it took me to do. I don't think it Please kick it in. I wouldn't do that. You're a girl's man. You're a girl's man. Very human, Frank. Very good. We'll be saying bye. Good luck. Blonde, I suppose, with the dyed hair. Uh, no, black hair, black hair, yes. Very mature, nice clothes, very uh, sophisticated. <laughs> very nice, uh, not too big, just full, uh, nice legs. Uh, very dignified posture. Uh, and beautiful hair, lots of hair, spread down. And wears a little hat sometimes. Something wrong, that right? Have you any idea who you just described? <laughs> no, I uh, Describe the new Vosking girl. Oh, the new, new Vosking girl. That's exactly what she should be, not a common tart like the other one. She should be a, a princess. She should be a, a lady of breeding and dignity. A woman who, who can make a young man's heart soar with, with lust you and, are, and adventure. You are right. You are very right. And I, I will start on her immediately. Good, that's very good. Now, I'm taking my uh, nephew and my, uh, my wife on, on a vacation. For a few days, a little while. And when I come back, I want to see the new Vosking girl. I'm filled with delight as I am. Come on, come on, Tom. Have a nice vacation. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know what the solution is? This plain, ordinary water. A lot of water. A whole sea of it. My darling, it doesn't swim. You see? My dear Mr. Henry, I have enclosed a check. A check to cover my last week's rent. And I'm going to the Côte d'Azur with my aunt and uncle. And I doubt very much whether I'll be coming back to this uh, <laughs> I don't want to go there. I don't want to kiss. I don't want to be kissed. Maybe you have any help, Frank. No. 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 I'm just going. Thank you. Going? Goodbye. So soon. I bet him that you and I in a boat could row to the cap faster than he could walk it. But he'll beat us. Of course. But he'll go back in a boat with us. And then, poof. I think we ought to go in. Wait. If you dive down, I have a nice surprise for you. Are you sure you can't swim? Oh, sure. <laughs> Now watch it, please. People can die in sunburn, you know. Try not to think about it. <laughs> You'll be all right if it's just a fresh Oh, my. Such morbid thoughts tonight. Why don't I be depressed if I can't These resorts out of season can sometimes be so sad. But it's so pleasant here. Listen, you can hear the waves. That is the rain, my love. Well, I suppose that means we had to put off our little, our little race for tomorrow. Anyway, wouldn't be a hair much good, and who knows, you might sink. Hold your nose and think of England. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that one always seems to eat an enormous meal when on holiday? If you're finished with it, let's go before it starts raining again. Oh, you two have gone ahead. I had to call the office. Give you a good start. I'm going to beat you anyway. Hi. Frank. What's the matter? I'm going to go to a funeral or something. No, I, I'm right. <laughs> Careful not to fall out of the boat. That really would give you an unfair advantage. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
You don't want to ask her again. You remember everything, darling? When I say, only when I say, remember the signal? Say it. Switch places with Frank. Good. Say it again. Switch places with Frank. Perfect. He'll be sitting in front of me. And you'll stay where you are now until we are far enough from shore. Remember, Frank, just one big push with your whole body. You must send him flying out, toppling in, face forward. Frank. Frank, do you hear? Frank! Yeah. Then you roll like hair. By the way, what does he get with three beats, is there? A rare treat for him. Me. I'll you by two minutes. Well, get in. No, I don't think so. I'll get back the same way. I've had some wonderful news. It's good to walk around the cat. Come on, get in. You can draw a little. Frank is tired and I I can't draw alone. No, I really don't want to, darling. I hate rowing. Very well. Then all sets are off. Unfair and illogical. All right. Move over, Frank. Heave ho! Heave ho, my heart is! <coughs> Frank! Oh, follow me, now, follow me. Rhythm, rhythm. Right? You know, my darling, this is actually my last day. What? Rhythm, Frank, rhythm. I have to leave first thing in the morning. That's what that phone call was about. You'll be interested in this, Frank. Listen, Charles, I feel like rowing a bit. You take Frank's place. No, no, darling, I'm just getting bored. Oh, up. no, not yet. Frank and I are no. finally getting out of rhythm. Synchronized. But I'm cold. Please get up and let me row. Oh, all right. Well, just give me a few more strokes. Twelve more. One for each year of our marriage. You come. Oh, one. Well, why do you have to spoil everything? After all, I'm leaving tomorrow just to give you a beautiful surprise. Five. Nine. Three. Twelve. Now, switch places with Frank. What am I doing? I shall be making a quarter of a million dollars in one fell swoop. That's what I've been offered for the Austin paper. Is this another one of your jokes? Oh, no, I never turned about mine. Well, apparently, Bitter showed that clue of the new Austin girl. He fell in love with it. Tomorrow I just sign the contract. No, Frank, wait! What the hell are you doing? I can't do anything. I can't see. Stand alive. Stand alive. We are rowing back together. Right, all of us. We're not all rowing together. Two at a time. Sit down, Frank. Maniac. But I can't see. Sit down. Come on, Martha. You'll switch places with Frank. I've lost my glasses. No! Well, I uh, suppose I'd better go. Frank. Yes? Why don't you move in with me? We're both orphans now, are we? We could be each other's family. Oh, no. No, I shouldn't. I mean... Oh, Frank, please, I... 
I need you. The business will be yours, the estate will be yours. You're the only friend I have left on this earth. Did you say that the business will be mine? That's what I said, Frank. Thank <laughs> you. 